Hello and welcome to Code Slicing. In the next couple of episodes, we're going to be building the breathe animation. Now, the reason we're going to be doing that is because at the end of episode 2.3 of Swift Over Coffee, Erica and Paul issued a challenge and they said, build the breathe animation using any technology you like. You've got one hour to do it. And I thought, well, this is my wheelhouse. I'm going to use Swift UI. It's going to be easy. I'm going to take 10 minutes. Job done. Well, it turns out it took a little bit longer than 10 minutes uh, and was actually quite the challenge, uh, let me tell you. And uh, my solution at the end of one hour was okay. It wasn't great uh, by any means. So I thought I'd refactor it and refine it. And uh, over the course of several hours, that's exactly what I did uh, to the point where you're going to see it today. So while this isn't my submission, since it took significantly longer than an hour to do, it is at least my solution. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making it. Right, nothing too surprising here. Although I will say that I am going to be using explicit sizes in this to reduce complexity and really get to the heart of the matter. The first thing I'm going to do is define a view. Okay, this is our petals view. I'm just going to put gray in there for now so I can refer to it up here and then we can resume so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to declare two constants, one of a CG float, which is the size of 200 and whether or not we're inhaling. And now we're going to loop around six petals, okay, for each zero to six index in. And instead of color gray, what we're going to do is we're going to say circle with a fill of gray. We're going to give it a frame of size. And we're going to offset it in the X direction if we're inhaling by half the size. The last thing we're going to do is rotate it 60 degrees times the index. That gives us our flower there. And what we want to do is we want those petals to blend into each other. And the blending mode we want to use in this case is screen. So we do that like this. Blend mode screen like that. Okay. So obviously the colors aren't correct for this. So what we're going to do is define our colors and that begins at the top. This just makes it easier to define them. Green and blue. Returns a color. The result is a color with red over 255. Copy green of green and blue of blue over 255. And it's a gradient. I'll explain why in just a second. Right. This color is 82, 215. 157 and the end color is 51 167 175 roughly gradient is equal to a linear gradient with the gradient start gradient end and we'll send it to the bottom and resume. I originally thought that this was going to be based on some kind of transparency, like the petals would all have a fractional alpha and they would add up to produce the effect. I no longer believe that is the case. Instead, I think the colors in the original animation are in fact solid with no transparency and are just using this particular blend mode. I think that there is a gradient that goes from top to bottom and that's the tricky part, because if we use a gradient to fill our circles, then what will happen is that gradient will be repeated for each one. Let me show you what I mean. If I use a gradient to fill each of our petals, you see what happens, right? See that gradient 
is repeated for each petal. It's the correct gradient. The gradient, I don't have any doubt about, or it's close enough. But obviously, we don't want to be repeating that gradient for each individual petal. And another thing you can notice is it's also rotated. So the gradient isn't all going in the right direction either, right? Because it's rotating a shape on line 33. And that means you're also rotating that gradient. What we need to do is use our petals individually as a gradient mask. So we're going to be using a cookie cutter approach that is going to reveal parts of that gradient using our petals. And by the way, the reason we're offsetting if we're inhaling is because we want it to be in this position when it's fully inhaled, when we are fully expanded, if you like. If inhaling is set to false, then it will all overlay each other, which is what we want when it's going to be very small. So we can see what that will kind of look like. If I set that to 40 and that to false now, right, you can see that's its starting point. So even if I set that back, to 200 we can see they're all overlaying each other so let's go back to this and I'm going to put our gradient here and then all that stuff we've just done is actually going to form the mask like that we don't even need to make the fill black uh, in fact we could remove the fill entirely because it will default to that so let's do that now you might notice that the colors look a little bit washed out and that is because we are not on a solid black background. It's almost black, but because we're using the screen mode, we need to make sure that it is on a black background. So we need another petals view that we can make exactly the same shape, but make it black. So that means we're going to need to introduce another property to this. I'm going to put it here. Here's mask, and in this case, we'll just make it true so we can develop it. and. We're going to need another gradient because we want to do this in a ternary. So the mask gradient is actually going to be a linear gradient with just black in it. All right, the rest of it doesn't matter. We'll just send it to the bottom. Okay, that's fine. So here we can say that petals gradient is equal to, are we the mask? Then it's the mask gradient. Otherwise, it's just the gradient. And then we'll put petals gradient here. And because it is the mask, when I resume this, we should see it turn black. And because it's using the screen mode, we're seeing the background color, which is just off black, come through. So we need to make sure that the blend mode changes. So if it's the mask, we want the blend mode to be normal. And we can put that below the other one. Is mask is true for that one. Now we can default that to false. And what we should see if we resume is that this is going to pop a little bit more. Now the colors are what they should be. Right, we're almost done with the gradient, but we do need a frame around it. Otherwise, it's going to go from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen, which we don't want. So what we say is, we give it a frame if we're inhaling of the size times two. And if we're not inhaling, then we just give it a frame of the size. So it will change in size along with our animation, which is great. Now, as you can see, this framing could also be done in a ternary, but personally, I like the declarative nature of this approach. And now that we've sized our gradient properly, we've got much better contrast going on and it's looking pretty good. Right, that's the petals sorted out. And in the next episode, we're going to be dealing with the animations and the ghosting, which is where things really get tricky. So join me for that. It's going to be brilliant. If you like that, then give it a thumbs up. It really does help people find the channel. and I do appreciate the support. And if you don't want to miss the next episode, consider subscribing and you won't. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me. See you next time.